Super Bowl Rob, but I've been watching Super Bowl Sundays. Music Master. I read on your profile that you're from Louisiana. Yes, ma'am. Okay, where in Louisiana are you from? Uh, Grambling, Western area, but yeah, uh, Grambling, HBCU. So, yeah, I'm from Grambling. What brought you to Dallas? Better opportunity, really. Like, more. How so? It's, I can do more things here. Like, it's more broad for me to do here because Western and Grambling are so closed in. Not a lot of people really commute there or even know about it. So, I had to get my name on a bigger market and do bigger things out here in Dallas. So why not like ATL or like Cali? Why Dallas though? I wanted to move to Dallas regardless, like if I was single or not. So, and it just so happened to be the perfect opportunity to move out here. Right now, looking at my music video setup and everything, came into my music video. So, what did y'all do the risk? I started singing when I was like, maybe six, seven at church. I started singing at the church choir and everything. But I got out of it for a minute. Then I got back into it when I got like 17, 18. And then I started singing covers on YouTube. And then one of my friends dropped the album. So I was trying to see who her producer was. I got in touch with him. And yeah, I made an EP and I just made my album. So we on a roll right now. This more my speed right here, baby. What's your favorite song on your album that you wrote? Probably Being a Man. Being a man, yeah. which album was that on? Uh, Emotional Rollercoaster. Emotional Roller Yeah. Okay. I saw that you have 1994 Baby, too. Yeah, that was my EP, the first one I your did. Your EP? Okay, so when you do an EP, you re-record songs for your actual album? Because I heard, like, It was just two of them. Yeah, it was just two of them. Okay. Because a lot of people really didn't hear my EP, and my album was on a bigger platform, so... Yeah, okay. I had to put just like the two best songs on the EP. Yeah, on the album. one of them I was like, okay, this one I like a lot. Yeah. I think it's with you or whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the one I like a lot. Um, and then the other two that I like, I have to write it down. Twenty four seven and therapy. I yeah. like those songs yeah. too. Um, so what were your like inspirations uh, for your album? Like, who do you look up to? So being a man is a remake of Tony Braxton song. Just be a man about it. Oh. But oh, it's a sauce. Go ahead. <laughs> But uh, mostly I listen to old school R&B, like 90s R&B. And I listen to R&B now, but it's mostly women if I listen to them now, like Her or Snow Allegra, stuff like that, Janae Aiko. But in the 90s, I listened to groups like Joe to see 112, I'll be sure, all of them. Uh, so yeah, I'm more, I'm a 90s baby, so yeah, I'm more R&B 90s. So you don't think the um, male R&B artists today are bringing it, or you just yeah. you just I go like, towards uh, women? I fall towards women more, but I do. Like Eric Bellinger is probably yeah. the best person that I've ever heard, seen, all of that stuff. Usher, of course, is a goat. All of that. Chris Brown's good, so yeah. But I just really fall into women more though. For me, it's Brent Fayez. Oh yeah, Brent Fayez. Yeah. Him, so. <laughs> um. Well, what else like um do you do? Like I, you rap a little bit. No, not really. I seen, yeah, I seen okay. rap, but my cousin that uh, was on half of the songs with me, he wrote most of them, but he rapped also. So he rapped like on three of the songs, I think. Okay. But besides that, I'm mostly saying. Is your cousin also in Dallas? Yeah, we live together. Did y'all move out here together? Pretty much. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. Whoa. <laughs> it's more my speed right here, baby. Don't talk. Just listen. Uh, check for your insecurity. You have a manager and talent agency. Uh, I'm no? working myself. I do everything myself. Okay, any shows? Like, uh, I do shows here and there, but like because of the virus and everything, it yeah. slowed down a little bit. But I had a show in Atlanta like a couple weeks ago. Before that, I did another show in uh, Dallas. So yeah, it's just it just pop up here and there. I also, when I was like looking for you on Spotify and stuff, yeah. like I saw someone else with your name. You yeah. know, somebody else has your name. Yeah. Okay. There's How do you feel about that? that? Yeah. When I made, because it's my name is Robert R B. Like people call me Rob. I don't have like an acronym for it or nothing yet, but that was just like how I started as oh. Rob. So, and then it was a play off of her. It's like she H dot E dot R. But yeah, I didn't know nobody else was doing it until I actually started doing it. 
and I searched for myself, and it's like, oh, other people had his name, so I didn't know that until I started doing it. Do you think you'll ever change it, or you're going to keep it? Do you think you'll have to, because, like, in the industry, like, does that... I don't think if I have, like, I guess I can get a bigger market and then my search numbers go up and then I'll just be the first thing that pops up when you search ROB. So, yeah, I don't think I have to change it, but right. yeah. if I do have to change it, I don't even know what name I would go with, to be honest. I'm talking to you, but you're really nice. I'm trying, baby, but you're really nice. To you, over and over I tried to be the man that you need Treat you like my baby girl, yeah you were my queen But now it seems to be that you were playing me Taking all my money but you get nothing from me Damn baby I'm so tired of you playing You want me to open up, say I just complain Sitting every whole day, but you ain't ready yet I'm about to leave you in the past cause you remind me to forget that we And then you said you used to do covers on YouTube? Yeah. Can you sing a song for us? You tough. <laughs> it's 11 in the morning. No? I just woke up. It's 11.30. <laughs> but alright, fine. Alright, I'm on my sing I'll, I'll sing it then. Okay. I got you. Okay. What song? I don't know, you pick. I bet. Superstar. Superstar? Let's hear it. Spotlight, big stage, 50,000 fans screaming in the rain. Bodyguard and limousines. This is the way I see you in my dreams. That was good. <laughs> I like it. I like your voice. Man, appreciate you. That's good. Y'all go get my album, man. Emotional Roller Coaster. ROB is on Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, whatever you want. You can hit me up. My Instagram is. Look it up. I don't remember. My Instagram is r.o.b underscore two four. Thanks for tuning in. This your boy ROB, and y'all watching Served on Sundays. I had to get away from that toxic shit. Don't be a fool and let people use you. Bless up kings and queens. Whoa.